In today's video, we are going to be building some toddler busy boxes. Very excited for this one because you guys are asking me for more toddler things. So I went to the Dollar Tree to find some good things that would be perfect for some activity bins for these toddlers in our lives. So everything in this video is gonna be very budget friendly. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. We are making some toddler busy activity boxes. I'm very excited to show you because I've got some great ideas. I can't wait to put them all together and show you how they work. Plus, they're all sourced from the Dollar Tree or maybe you already have some of these items in your house, so I'm gonna keep it very budget friendly. I'm really trying to do some new ideas for you guys. I have videos in the past for Dollar Tree toddler activity kits and sensory bins, so if you wanna get more ideas, you have to go back and watch those videos. I'll link them down below. Maybe put one up here in the corner so you can go back and watch it after you watch this video. So I got some great ideas for you guys. We're gonna get started right away. First things first, let's do some shopping and head over to Dollar Tree. We are gonna first look for some containers. Dollar Tree carries the regular shoe box size containers, which would be perfect for this. I would have to say that the Sterilite brand from Target or Walmart are actually better quality, but if you want to, you can get these and use them, they'll be just fine. Depending on the time of year, you're gonna find different types of containers throughout the store. I headed over to the kitchen section just to see what they had because I know they have some really sturdy containers that I've used before in the past and really liked. I've used these square shaped ones before and they are really nice and sturdy plus they stack really well And then I also found these which are a little bit smaller actually smaller than the shoe box size ones And I think these would work great for my purposes pick one that suits you the best and that's actually going to fit your activities so I really like these. These are the Sure Fresh brand. They're in the kitchen section. They stack up nicely to each other. And I like that they're clear so you can actually see what's inside. I think sometimes that's really nice. Now you can get five of these if you wanna do Monday through Friday. You can get a couple of these and just switch out and rotate. Or you can get seven if you wanna have multiples. You get to decide how you wanna do this. You can also label these and put maybe a Monday on here, Tuesday, Wednesday, especially if you're learning the days of the week or you want your child to be self-directed and they can grab the box for Monday if it's Monday, or you can just leave them as it is and switch them out as you go. I'm not going to label mine simply because I plan on reusing them and they won't always be on the correct day of the week. But I do like the size. So it's, it's like a shoebox size, but it's actually quite smaller. I've used the shoebox size for my activity kits for my big girls. If you've seen those videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And that's kind of where I put a lot of activities into one based off my restaurant kit videos. This is gonna be a little bit different as we're working with younger children and we're only putting one activity in per box. So I got one that was kind of a decent size that I know is going to fit what I need in here. I'm going to show you ideas for a couple different boxes and some variations on it so where you can actually reuse your materials. For the first one in Dollar Tree, head over to the toy section and you're gonna be looking for the foam puzzles. Different times of the year, Dollar Tree will carry different styles of these. I found some in Alphabet, but I also found some in Transportation. And do note that they do come in different colors. We're gonna take a package of these. They are just regular foam puzzles. Grab two of these because you're gonna need two of the exact same type. Next up, I'm heading over to find a filler for this because I wanna make it a little bit like a sensory bin. And right now, over in the Easter section, they have the Easter grass, but not your typical shiny grass, the one that's made out of paper. So I'm gonna try this out. It comes in a couple different colors. It's called Easter grass, and you have to kind of shred it up yourself, and we're gonna see if this is gonna work. So I have my materials here. We're keeping it simple, you guys, because this is for the toddlers. Now, I did get two of the shape puzzles because this is gonna be part of our matching game. So you're gonna need the exact same color so that they can match. First, I need to try out this Easter grass to create it. I wanted to make this one a little bit more sensory based. The other boxes I'm gonna show you are not sensory based, but I thought this would be fun to throw this in. Plus, I actually wanted to try this out. So it says that you just lift and shake according to the instructions on here and you add to your package and you're done. So it comes like this in a little spiral. It's really cute. It's all pre-cut for you. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we are going to try, you guys. Lift and shake, it says. Oh, this is great. It looks like it's working. Oh yeah. This would even be fun for the kids to do, to shake this up. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, loving this. This is definitely a win, thumbs up. All right, so you just shake this out really good. And then if you notice up here at the top, it's actually all connected. So what I would recommend doing is just to tear that off for your sensory bins. So everything's not connected in one big lump. Now, the reason why I wanted this to be more of a filler kind of box is because we're going to be hiding our shapes in here. This is a great puzzle just to have on its own. Getting these sh shapes out, 
out, recognizing where they go into the puzzle is amazing. But then you can also use it in this other way when you have two of them. So we're just gonna put our little foam base aside. Do our other one. If you're just starting out with a younger toddler, I would just do a couple of these, maybe um, six total, three different ones to be matched. So that way you're not overwhelming your child. Next up is hiding them. So we're gonna hide them inside our grass. I only did six total shapes for three matches. I'm just gonna save these aside for now. And now you have a seek and find sensory match bin. Now the purpose of sensory bins is that they're exploring their senses. So in this case, it's touch. So by pulling apart that tissue tissue paper and even the sound too because now I can hear it they are warming up their senses so we have a shape here can you find another shape and they dig around and they find another one they don't have a match yet here's one over here who doesn't match with any of them and they can match them up by stacking them or matching them up by putting them side by side and they will go until they find all of them they're also going to enjoy putting these back in here and hiding them after to do it all over again so this is a very simple matching game to do in a sensory bin form and then when you prepare it you can close it up to do it a different day or when they want to do it again Back over to Dollar Tree. This time we're heading over to the party section. But if you go to the party favor section, you're gonna find a lot of different options. I found these airplanes and they're party favors that come six to a pack. And I'm picking these not only because they're a nice big chunky shape, good for toddler hands, but also because they come in rainbow colors. Now, not every package has all the rainbow colors, so you kind of have to pick. I end up getting two packages in order to make my full rainbow. Next, look for this, it's called felt garland and it's actually set up so that you have a banner of a felt but in rainbow colors and you can make this on your own using just felt pieces maybe you have some scraps at home but check out Dollar Tree because this is already made for you so for this one we have our felt garland and we have two packages of our airplane party favors if you can find a different one that your child might like more definitely do that and then we have our little bin let's move this one out of the way for this one you're just gonna supply the felt banner so we have one for each color. You can just put that inside your bin, ready to go. How easy was that? And then we have our favor. So we're just gonna need one of each color. They come more than one color per package. If you wanted to, you can put more, but if you're starting off, I recommend doing less because less is more with the toddlers and preschoolers so that you don't overwhelm. If it becomes too easy for them, then you can definitely add in more. Let's see, we need a red and a green. And this is your busy bin, your busy activity bin. So what they would need to do is you need to show them how to use it. They would take out all of their colors, them out. I just noticed there's a pink in here. I don't have a pink airplane, so I'm gonna leave the pink out. And then next they would take their airplanes and match them up to the right color. Simple color matching. If you're working with them, you can help them by calling out the name of the color yellow, red, or if you're working with them, you can have call out the color and have them find it. Can you show me the purple airplane? Can you put the purple airplane on the color purple? This is a great tactile way of learning colors and color matching. Once they've mastered this, you can add in a couple of more airplanes to make it even more difficult. And then you're probably gonna find them just playing with the airplanes too. I also wanna point out variations that you can use on this. You can bring back those foam shapes and you can do the same thing because they come in the same colors. You'll have to buy a couple different packages because not all the rainbow colors come with each set. But if you wanted to repurpose and reuse and do a different variation, always do that and match your foam puzzle pieces up to the felt banner. That felt banner is gonna take you a long way. This time we are looking for some flashcards. Now in the learning section, you're gonna find a lot of different choices, but be very selective for this because you are looking for number flashcards. The type of flashcards you're looking for will have the number and then also the quantity on them. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. If you're lucky, over in the toy section, they also have this package of three. And if you look, they have one that's for one, two, threes, a matching game. It also has a puzzle game and sight words on it. You're getting three packages of cards for a dollar this is actually the better deal so if you have these these are going to work perfect but if you don't find these at your store some of the other flashcards may be better then head over to the craft aisle you are looking for some pom-poms I found some recently there in the craft section when I was doing Valentine's Day crafts they have all kinds of different colors also a bonus look for the tweezers in the teacher section this is a great deal and it's a great way to work some fine motor skills so this is optional probably for an older toddler who has a little bit better fine motor 
motor skills, a newer toddler probably won't be ready for this yet. So here's the three pack of cards. This is such a great deal. We're not gonna use all of them, but I just wanted to show you that they do come with that many. And they're a little bit smaller than the other flashcards, but this is actually gonna be perfect. We are gonna be using the one, two, three package. And we're gonna use these for later when our toddlers are older. So if we look at these cards here, you have one with the number and you can reuse these for other activities too, by the way. And then you have the quantity shown here. Number, quantity, number and quantity. Now, when you're just starting out with numbers, you don't want to overwhelm. So you might want to just start off with the cards that are up to number five. As your child gets older, you can add in more cards. So in our box for our little beginners, we're gonna only put in these. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to use that. So you have those cards. We're gonna save this for the next level. You're also gonna put in your pom-poms. You can put them in a little container if you want, or you can just put them loose in there. And this is our activity box. It's that simple. So when we use this activity box, we're gonna take out the cards and we're gonna talk about them with our toddler. One, there's one crab, here's two zebras, one, two, here's three snails, one, two, three, and maybe you can count them out together. Next, it's gonna be your toddler's job to assign one pom-pom to each one on the card and do it while counting. So here is our fine motor, one-to-one -one correspondence, also sensorial with the fluffy pom-pom and learning our counting. One, 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 two, one, two, three, and all the way down. Once this is mastered, you can add back in those cards. And before you put the pom-poms on, you can work on matching these cards. So they're not gonna be working on reading these words yet. Toddlers are gonna be learning to actually count. And then the second step to learn the actual number symbol. So they'll be matching up. So they'll be counting and learning that matching symbol there. Then they can also do that pom-pom matching. To make it even more fine motor-esque, I have my box of tools here. You guys know I talk about all these tools. I actually think I might have a video on fine motor tools. I'll have to go look that up. And I'll link that up here in the corner if I do in the description box. But there's all kinds of tools you can use. I told you to use the tongs from the Dollar Tree, which are very similar to um, this one right here. But if you're going to be investing in more tools, I put a whole bunch of these in my Amazon store. Definitely worth the investment. You're going to use them a lot, especially if you're starting with the toddler age. But for this case, I'm going to use the one that it's very similar to the dollar store one. And then you have a fine motor activity where they have to use their pincer graphs to pick up the pom-poms and do their counting, okay? And then once this becomes too easy for them and they've learned the numbers, you can take out these and only use the number cards. And you can do the same fine motor exercise. And it's probably hard to see there, white on white for each card. And they can go down each card and do it that way. So you can see how it can get progressively harder using the exact same materials. A lot of times people ask me, what age is this recommended for? And I definitely recommend using your best judgment as a parent as to what skill level your child is at and adapting it to it. If they are not catching on to something right away, put it away, bring it out another time and see how they do a couple weeks later a couple months later. If something's way too easy, make it more difficult by adding another element or another tool or something like that. So these are just three ideas on making your own activity busy bins for your toddlers. If you'd like to see more ideas like this, especially Dollar Tree ones, please let me know because I would love to show you some more ideas. I really tried to find something that was very different than I've shown you before, but in the past, and I'm hoping that you guys liked these. If you have an amazing find from Dollar tree that would be perfect for a toddler bin let me know down below in the comments you guys do have the best ideas make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love